Hi there, Nick here. So why do I love Ayurveda? Well, because it brings me joy. Now, you might think, how does it bring you joy? Okay, let me explain. When you first arrive at Disneyland, it's the best moment ever. And I don't just mean when you arrive, I mean the first time you arrive. My first time ever in Disneyland. Boy, I was 10 years old and I didn't even know that a place like this could exist. It was truly another world. Not only because it was Disney, duh, but because I came from a bleak and dreary Scotland, which is filled with stone and grey and heaviness, into a place where the sun was shining, it was California, and walking through those doors of Disney, it was another world. My senses were alive. There was music playing and skipping happening and colors, smells of popcorn and movement and action all around. It was just a joy ride for my senses. They were overwhelmed and delighted. And that was before I even went on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. So that's the kind of joy that I love. You see, it's taken me this long to realize it, but I admit that I am a joy junkie. And when I don't get my fix of daily sunflowers and sunshine moments, I feel cheated. Now, I've lived in some pretty glamorous places in my life because of this joy junkie drive in me. New York, Paris, Venice. I've sought out times in India to go and experience different colors and foods and smells. It's what keeps me traveling, but I can't be jumping on a plane every single day because I want color, I want texture, I want smells, and I want adventures. So when I ask most people what they think of about Ayurveda, they will say something around ginger and turmeric and maybe they'll talk about some natural eye cream. At least that's the way that it comes to me. It's also the way that is presented through pop culture and the media. But if you really scratch below that part, there is a part of Ayurveda which is all about how to live in this Disney-esque joy every single day. And it's called the Dinacharya. You've got to scratch underneath a lot of heavy going reading. You've got to go beyond the prescriptive diets given to you. You have to go underneath all the Ayurvedic texts. So once you dig under that, you'll find that there is this system of daily habits that are designed to bring you joy or designed to give you the Disney feeling because that's what you are designed to do, to live in a way that is a place of your senses being open so that you can see the Disney part of your life. You can see the colors, you can see the stories that are going on, you can smell the air in the morning, you can begin to really differentiate between the taste of lettuce as it hits your tongue. So from the moment that I wake up, witnessing the light beginning to rise, sitting quietly before everybody else gets up, to the moment when I release the day when the sun goes down, I am conscious and it's all about details. So Disney cares about the way things look. It's this awareness and attention to detail that really make it Disney. Imagine you're clean and clear and savvy enough and trained intuitively to know exactly what to wear for the day, exactly where you need to go, exactly who you need to speak to, to be in the right place at the right moment for the right things to happen. Imagine understanding all of the five elements, not just in a bookish way of earth, water, air, fire, space, but 
how they play out in your life, in your body. Imagine being curious enough to play with different spices and test them out on your tongue. Right, that is the gift of Ayurveda land, to live every day in this 360, five-dimensional experience of life. So I never wanted to be a Disney princess, but I really wanted to be an Ayurvedic alchemist. And that is my place in the castle. So for those who really want this Disney-esque joy to live in Ayurveda land and are curious about learning what it looks like, I invite you to take my mini course called Introduction to Ayurvedic Living. I'll put the link in the show notes below. Thank you so much for joining me in Ayurveda land. May you have a joyful, bright and beautiful day. Hari Om, Om Tat Sat.